Now to the Friday night low light that has been viewed more than two million times online. Yes, the family of the player swinging and hitting an opponent with a helmet is now pushing back at criticism that he's received. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is live at Tiger Field in Linden with more. Tony? The player on the receiving end of that helmet hit needed 10 stitches. The Linden player who delivered the blow is off the team, suspended from school, and facing possible criminal charges. This afternoon, his mother said the reaction and the punishment are way too harsh. Sometimes, kids, during football, you might get overwhelmed, and he really is apologetic for this. He didn't mean it. He said it was an accident, and my thing is, he said his hand got stuck in a helmet, and I believe my child. Anita McDuffie says she was at the game when her son Fritz Moncion tangled with a player from Immaculata High School and hit that player with his helmet. The video went viral, and as is almost always the case, the internet reaction got very ugly and personal. He's very hurt. Like, he's... He's crying. He's, he's really upset. This young man comes from a decent stop, good stop. He's being raised properly. He's a good, he never had any problems in school until now. According to activists advising Moncion's family, the Immaculata player, number 73, had speared Moncion in the midsection with his helmet on an earlier play. And... There was a lot of uh, racial stuff being said. Including, they allege, the N-word, an allegation that drew swift pushback from the Linden school superintendent. This is the first time I'm hearing anything about this incident being uh, possibly racially motivated. Uh, that has not come up in our investigation. It has not come up in our conversation with the young man. The superintendent confirmed he decided to remove Fritz Moncion from the team. Moncion posted on Instagram he's also been suspended for 10 days. Linden police say they turned results of their investigation over to the prosecutor with no recommendation either way about possible charges. We just provided them with the evidence and everything we had from the investigation and uh, it's totally uh, their determination on what they want to do with this. You saw in that video how the Immaculata player put up his hands and he did not retaliate. This afternoon, we have a statement from that player's family. Quote, we're very proud of our son's peacefulness and self-control. We are grateful for the support and prayers of the Immaculata, the Linden, and now the global communities. Live in Linden, New Jersey, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. All right, Tony, thank you. We have